Hello all you people out there, this is Michael of the Two and a Half Stooges, and this is something that somebody actually asked me about concerning Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets a few weeks ago. A couple of you may know that a long time ago, I think almost two years ago now, I made this video about getting to secret areas in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets for the PC without using debug mode, and it involved going into the game's program files and swapping a bunch of stuff around and stuff like that. But Somebody did ask me, and I can't believe I forgot to do this in the original video about how to do that using debug mode, so I guess I'll do that now, alright. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to go into, um, it may be different location on the computer depending on, I guess, the build of the operating system, I think. But for me, it will be into Documents, Harry Potter 2, and Game.ini. What seems to be more common, this is listed on most websites that tell you how to do debug mode in Harry Potter, would be Program Files. Um, program files are program files like 86 depending on your operating system again. And where the EA games, Harry Potter, and the Chamber of Secrets system. And then somewhere in this list of like settings and dialog lists and object classes, you'll find this um, the same file, game.ini. Uh, wherever it is, doesn't really matter. You will want to go down near the bottom of this thing. Uh, here it is, this block here. And where it says hgame.baseconsole and um, the key be debug mode, you want to set it to true. Uh, by default it's false and that will mean debug mode is off, but you want to set it to true and um, that will turn debug mode on. Um, you probably don't want to search like the phrase debug mode in, um, in the file using the search function because there's actually two entries for it, I don't really know why. Um, the one that you want is near the bottom. I'm not sure what this one does. I tried it. It didn't really make any noticeable difference that I saw. But anyway, there's that. Additionally, this is not strictly related to debug mode, but I think this is kind of useful, especially for me, because I'm recording the game. But here, kind of near the top, you see this big block, this WinDRV. I don't really know what that's supposed to stand for. A window driver or something weird like that. Um, anyway, there's this bunch of settings that have to do with um, the display, like viewports, color bit, brightness, um, use joystick or capture mouse or full screen. Um, by default, this line here, start full screen, is set to true and that will make the game load in full screen mode, but I don't really want that because it makes it kind of weird for recording, so I want that set to false and that will make the game load in windowed mode. If you want to record the game too, you'll probably want to do that because I'm, me at least, I think it's easier to do it like that. Um, you can also go around and mess with a bunch of these other things. I'm not really interested in doing all that right now. But anyway, um, back on the topic of debug mode. Load the game up. I'm actually going to cut this out to when it loads because this computer is weird and slow. So you will notice when the game loads straight off the bat, it's in windowed mode, which is nice. Uh, and there's a screen debug text across the top of the screen. Um, I'm going to get out of that scrub challenge quickly because I don't really want to be there. And... Oh, what's going on? Yeah, it, it does that to me sometimes. I don't know. I think it's the computer. But anyway, there's that. All right. So, um, what you want to do to go to the um, the Gryffindor challenge common room thing, as it's known, uh, that's better. I don't know why I did the black this screen before. I think it's challenge. I think it's like my computer's display setting and screwing up the I don't know graphics drivers or. Direct 3D or whatever. But anyway, uh, the Gryffindor common room, you go there. The uh, you hit delete to go into the, um, we know Harry. To go into ghost mode, you can zoom through walls and all that fun stuff. You can actually go and find some interesting stuff. Um, somewhere around here, I think, yeah, it's here, there's this um, beta version of the fat lady. Um, somewhere around here, I don't know exactly where it is, there's this, um, the room full of character models. It's like, loaded into the rooms. In the outdoor level you can actually find this little tiny thing called the skybox which is projected onto the um, the um, the ceiling of all the maps and that have like skies and backgrounds and stuff and um, you can do kind of funny things with it. I won't really go into that because it's weird. But anyway, what you, you want to... Shut up, Percy. What you want to do, this door here is never open during the course of the game normally, so you want to just go through it in that ghost mode thing uh, with the delete key, and that is how you will end up here like a normal person. So, uh, the famous or infamous unfinished level, or so it would seem, of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Um, 
I hope you all enjoyed that, found this video rather interesting, so rate, comment, subscribe, watch more of the stuff I have uploaded, please, and see you later.